all I know We all will go this way Our life is surrounded by death I know Oh, I know The night will end the day When we talk about uh, bands and the industry getting hit by the COVID well, I think still you guys might take the cake on that uh, can you just first of all walk me through the whole thing like uh, your comeback was planned after six years of absence and uh, well just walk me through the whole thing like what was the plan and how did it all disintegrate? Okay, uh, yeah, we uh, Peter and I got together uh, in uh, 219 and uh, decided to, to get back together and uh, we had uh, the new album was planned. We we recorded a, co a few of the songs and we're getting ready and uh, had our, our first comeback show was planned uh, to actually to take place at the same place that we uh, uh, left the band where we did our last show. And uh, it was all set up. And then all of a sudden, yeah, COVID happened. And uh, so the whole thing was canceled or put on ice more or less. Uh, the show is still going to happen. Uh, it's supposed to happen this year. Let's see if that happens. Uh, and then, then that's why we decided to, uh, uh, as long as we can't play live, to put the new album on hold and do a, a remake, uh, an acoustic version of a couple of our old songs and one new song and uh, brought out our EP, Another Side, which will be out on Saturday. Okay, uh, let's go to the EP in a minute, but like, how was the realization uh, when you uh, like uh, realized that the comeback wouldn't happen as you planned it? Well, it was like, shit. Yeah, uh, we were all really happy and excited and uh, the, the fans were getting excited that we were going to be back on stage and we were really into recording new songs and trying to get back into our old form. And then everything was just put on ice. It's just uh, crap, you know, it was, uh, I don't know how else to say it. It was just devastating. And uh, I'm not sure if you're trusting plans at the moment that much, but if like everything goes perfectly this year, 2021, so what will happen this year? Uh, we'll finish up the album get that finished and then uh hopefully do the show at the at the festival uh marking our our, our big comeback <laughs> if but that's a really big if right now <laughs> the way it looks like here in, in germany um i don't think anything's going to happen before september which means uh even if they open everything back up in september we probably still won't be able to do shows until 22. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to sound really uh, down on everything, but I kind of see that's what's going to yeah, happen. I that's don't the most, think. That's the most probable thing. I, I also see it that way. I think 22 will be the next year when there are going to be live shows. Because now the mutant virus is coming and well, until we have a vaccine and so on, I think that's going to take some time. Yeah, absolutely. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, let's go to the EP. So uh, first of all, how did the idea come to you to make an acoustic uh, EP of all things? I think it was our bass <laughs> player. You won't believe it. Our dumb day bass player had this idea. And for me, it was perfect because I was, I don't know why, but I was really into that acoustic shit again. And so it was open doors for me. He just asked me for it and everybody in the band agreed to it. And so we did it. The last album that I did with my other band was also an acoustic live thing. And uh, the idea was if we can't do the big uh, concerts, uh, and, and festivals that we maybe could do a smaller thing in an a, a acoustic version in like smaller clubs, very uh, small audience in order to be able to do shows during this COVID time. 
because for a short time, uh, they actually were allowed to do concerts with, uh, you know, with like two meters in between each guest. And so that was the idea is to uh, have songs that we could perform for a smaller audience without the, the, the big rock festival thing going on. Uh, but unfortunately, that didn't happen either. <laughs> Yeah, how was it to <clears throat> work on this EP? Uh, did the COVID affect also making of the EP or how did you manage? Yes, it did, because I'm really afraid of getting sick again because I was sick before Corona. You know, a little tick bite me and I was, for two years, I was almost dead. Yeah, so um, now I'm healthy again. I, want, I really wanted to stay healthy. So I said to Ski, don't come into my studio. <laughs> Don't sing. <laughs> yeah. When you sing, you're going to spread the virus all over my studio. So I was really afraid about that. And then I said, well, what about a drummer? He's got a studio in Berlin. Why don't you go there and record it over there just to keep me safe? <laughs> and that's exactly how we did it. But it wasn't Berlin, to be honest. It was Frankfurt. But uh, yeah, uh, I ended up uh, not recording the songs with Peter. Uh, I ended up going to our drummer's house and uh, recording in his studios. Uh, the video of uh, song Mother was uh, released just a few days ago. Uh, do you think that uh, like videos have a bigger meaning at the moment when the gigs are not possible? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I think so too. Yeah. Absolutely. Everything right now is happening in the internet. Look, we're doing a interview online because uh, no one can meet up. I, like, I would have loved to come up to Finland and, 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 and drank some vodka with you and, and talked about it, but it's not possible right now. Everything is online. So the only way you can really have contact with, with the fans and with the friends is, is through videos, through pictures online. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, it might be like a bit of a comeback, comeback for uh, music videos too. So what was uh, uh, your idea for this video? I'm, I'm not sure if you, you only saw Mother. We did actually, we did all yeah. five songs. We, we went into a, uh, to a large uh, photography studio and performed the entire EP in a live acoustic concert and, and recorded them all there. That's why the, the whole... All five songs are, are, are from from the picture and from the video are almost identical. It was, a, it was the idea of just showing us doing a, a live show. Okay, let's go back to the third album for a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's go uh, a bit back to the third album. Uh, it's basically now in a limbo. So how hard was it for you to make that decision that uh, you don't put the album out yet and uh, you put an EP out now? And uh, how difficult it is to juggle these things? Well, I have to say, uh, you have to realize um, we're not on a label. We're, uh, I have my own label where I do, do my other projects. And so the album will be released on my label. Uh, and because of the fact that I know I cannot sell CDs if we don't play live, it was actually a, a financial decision not to spend money on an album that's going to end up sitting on the shelves waiting for us to be able to play again. And I know it's really hard for the fans who are waiting to hear new music from us, but uh, it's just not possible at this point to financially uh, uh, handle the situation of putting out money for for the for the new album and then not being able to sell it and i know that sounds hard because we're musicians who who love to make music and uh, that's why we do it but still at one point you have to decide am i going to throw out money for an album that's going to basically sit on the shelves for another year or a year and a half so that's basically why we decided to, to push it back and, and to do the, the EP instead as a kind of tie us over until the, the actual album is finished. Yeah, and the good thing is that I have my own studio where we can produce everything 
Okay, uh, just for a little maybe a, a sneak peek on the third album. So uh, as I understand, it's uh, basically ready now, right? I think the songs, the, the, the music and everything from Peter is finished. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. About about half of the vocals are finished. The rest uh, yes. we're going to be working on our online uh, recording sessions to, to finish up the rest of the songs. There is the the the, uh, the songs are there they're there and the uh and the feeling for the album is there but uh it's just waiting to be to put the final finishes on it and then waiting for uh covid to be gone so that we can finally uh, in a sensible way put it out there yeah yeah i'm sure you cannot uh, uh say too much about that that album but like what are your own uh, thoughts and feelings about it now that you have had time to like mull over it a lot well for me it was like coming back to life because i was so sick you know my heart uh was infected and that fits perfectly to the virus undead thing the topic that we always had <laughs> so we're the survivors we're coming back strong <laughs> at least that was our plan to do it like that 